What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. That right there is the Gen 3 Groove bike. It is an electric bike. It's a foldable bike. It goes fast. It goes smooth. And it's a great bike for a great price. So let's first check this out in action. So you've seen it in action, now let's talk about some of its features. So it does have pedal assist and a thumb throttle. It's classified as a class two electric bike. It's got 45 miles of range, Bafang 500 watt rated up to 1000 peak rear hub motor. Charge time takes about eight hours. So let's take a closer look at the bike. You got some nice big fat tires on here which give you a nice smooth ride and just good stability overall. You get this front light, the front light is not that bright. I would recommend upgrading it. So if you wanna ride this at night again, I would recommend upgrading uh, the light that's on here. The brakes work really, really well. They have Gen 3 branding on there. And I like that, that they put the Gen 3 branding all the way around. The handlebar is very, very skinny, um, but very grippy. So um, they don't offer a ton of comfort, but you definitely don't feel like you're gonna um, you know, lose your grip on these very, very grippy. And I didn't get too much hand fatigue on these. It's just, I personally probably would want something a little bit more plush. And then you have the speedometer here. The speedometer is going to allow you to completely control the bike from turning it on and off. Uh, you press it once it is on, so this is how you turn it on. I'll show you real quick. That's how you turn it off and on. And then if you want to turn the lights on, you press and hold the up button real quick. If you want to uh, change between the different modes, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero is gonna basically just keep the lights on. Uh, it doesn't let the throttle work. It doesn't let the pedal assist work. And then one would be the least amount of pedal assist and the least amount of speed and two, three, four, five. Five would be the ultimate most. Here's the thumb throttle. I'm not a huge fan of thumb throttles. It works completely fine. There's not a lot of torque on this bike, which I am very happy with because the last bike I reviewed, or at least one of the last ones, had a ton of torque. This one does not have a ton of torque. Uh, very, very smooth takeoff and just overall ride with that. You got your gears here. So if you like to uh, switch between different gears, you have a bunch of them on here. It's nice that you get shocks. That way it absorbs a lot of the bumps in the road and on the dirt paths that you ride more Gen 3 branding across. Uh, like I did say, the bike does fold and we will show that in a little bit. Uh, the pedals are absolutely fine. I have no problem with the pedals at all. Here's the battery in the back. You do get a key for it. You get two keys actually. Um, and you can pull this out. And the cool thing about the battery is, you can see right there, you press that button right there. It's gonna tell you how much battery you have left on the battery itself. That way you don't have to turn the bike on if you don't want to. There's the back tire and the fenders to keep everything safe. So dirt doesn't kick up too much and keep everything uh, fairly clean on the bike. And then overall, oh yeah, the seat, seats, eh, it's okay, not bad. You get a little bit of butt fatigue, but um, you know, it feels decent enough and it is an easy upgrade if you don't like it. Some things I really like about this bike is one, it's really easy to step onto this bike. It's got, got that low bar, so very easy um, to get on there. It's also a stand-up bike, meaning that when you ride, you are standing basically straight up. So it's a very, very comfortable ride at that as well. I also really, really like the way this bike looks. I love the black on black and the Gen 3 branding. It looks very, very cool. Uh, definitely one of my favorite looking bikes uh, that I've reviewed recently. And uh, the price, not too bad as well, $15.99. And you know, maybe we'll get a coupon code thrown in there potentially, but ultimately this bike is a looker. It works really well. Very, very happy with it.
And then to fold the bike up, just lift this latch, pull this apart. And there you go, you can carry it. We can even fold these handlebars as well if need be. We would just turn this and then fold the handlebars down to get even more compact. But like I said, you can pretty much put this anywhere that you want, so let's put it in the car. And then when you're at your destination, you can push the lock into place so it locks, snaps in, and then just put in the latch and you're ready to go. All right, so let's talk about what I like and don't like about this bike. So you kind of heard me mention a couple of things. One would be the, the handlebars. They're very grippy, but it, I don't know, comfort wise, uh, would I want them to be more plush? Probably, but it's a very easy fix if need be. The seat, and I think that's almost a problem with almost every bike is that, you know, the seat gives a little bit of a fatigue on your butt, but ultimately it's not that bad. The other two things I don't really love about this are, one is this, it's the LCD display. It's really small. Uh, it's hard to see in the sunlight um, unless the sun's beating right on it, then you can actually see it really well. Um, but I wish it was bigger and brighter, so a little bit of a letdown. It is something you can change though, if need be. Um, I do like twist throttles better. This is a thumb throttle. It would have been nice to actually get a, a thumb throttle on there. It is something you can change, um, but it is something to know. But I haven't, I don't know. Out of all my thumb throttles, I have to say this is definitely the most comfortable and it has caused the least amount of fatigue for me. Also, the lights not bright enough for me it is something I'm definitely going to replace slash add on to. Um, at night driving it does really not add a lot of light to what you can see in front of you. Um, speed, I would like it to be faster. I haven't really looked too far into it to see if there's a little you know, hack to make it a little bit faster. It kind of maxes out at about 20 miles per hour. I really like when bikes can hit about 25 miles per hour. With that said, um, like going up hills with this bike, is probably one of the best experiences I've had on almost any of my electric bikes. It handles these, you know, deep inclined hills really, really well. Like to the point where I didn't struggle at all. Sometimes even at the, you know, level five level of biking on, on a bike, you know, you might be like, oh my God, I'm getting kind of tired. I didn't feel like that on that bike. I love the ability that I can fold it up and pretty much bring it anywhere that I want. If I want to bring it to the grocery store, um, not that I would drive it there, but you know, if I wanted to pick up groceries in it, or like say I wanted to go on a bike ride to the beach, but I didn't want to bike all the way to the beach, I'm able to do that if I was, you know, bringing it to uh, another location, maybe like a path that was pretty, pretty far away. It's really easy to fold up and I love the portability of the bike to be able to do that. And it's just an overall uh, versatile bike, you know, everything from riding it on the dirt, you know, in a nice little path, you know, overlooking the mountains or uh, some water uh, or, or a pond or something or rivers or, you know, it's going to handle all of that stuff really, really well. But you can also take this on the street and to, you know, the air, you know, run some errands and maybe if you live in the city, you know, you can bring this anywhere that you'd like. So and having it being foldable, a comfortable ride, the price is really competitive and maybe even slightly cheaper than some of its competition. I think it's a great bike to get um, wherever you live. I live in Southern California, so basically it's beautiful all year round, but if you lived in the East Coast, like I, where I grew up, and there was snow, and there was sleet, and there was rain, this would be a great bike for that as well. So I would recommend picking it up. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, my few complaints aren't really that big a deal. And uh, overall, I'm very, very happy. It's a very fun bike as well to just drive around and leisurely enjoy yourself because you can, you know, ride it as a electric bike. You know, I, I usually drive it in three to five, uh, three to five, you know, uh, power on there, one, three, four, or five, and it's just so much fun. Uh, but you can make this a complete exercise thing too if you wanted that and turn the motor off, but keep the lights on if need be. So a lot of cool stuff with the bike. Check it out, and it's very comfortable and it's just, you know, it's cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.